Hi folks, I have some unseen video footage that I've been meaning to put out there and yeah, some nefarious stuff, uh, interesting things in social media, so here it is. I am feeling a tad under the weather. I have a cold! Imagine that! Wow! I thought that they no longer existed. Anyways, here we go. Oh yeah, so we got this little punk in front of us going ripping down all the stuff to do with the uh, rally. They're taking freedom away from people who live here. A lot of the citizens of Ottawa and Centertown feel that they can't even leave their home safely. I feel lucky enough that I can leave and go get coffee and go to the drugstore right now. But a lot of people in our city don't feel that privilege, honestly. <laughs> and they're telling me that it's freedom for my mask. And I said, I'm happy to wear my mask. And they think that human rights are being taken away. I said, this isn't a human right. You have the right to choose. You have the right to not go to these places that require a mask. Oh, they just don't understand like the impact that this is having on people here, I guess. You're visibly shaking. Your body is shaking. You are yeah. crying. Well, why is that? Well, it's been a week of constant honking, constant hate in social media, walking just down the street. It's hate. People are being harassed for wearing masks. It's just, it's upsetting. It's just, it's emotionally draining right now being here and, and not agreeing with them. Oh, come on, kid. Wake up. Okay, this next clip is when we were merging with the big rigs and we witnessed a dump truck that was backing up the whole line of the convoy yeah and yes i always wear my toque i always have something on my head so don't think i'm weird this is just what i do okay this is the merge the merge with the big rigs <laughs> So right here, you can see that this dump truck is fully capable of moving. There's no issues with it. And it is purposely going to be backing up that whole entire lane of traffic coming from that off ramp. And it's not until Gidget and I start using hand gestures and getting them moving and then Gidget goes outside of the vehicle and gets them rolling along. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, they're fucking blocking. They're blocking them on purpose. <laughs> Freedom! Zoom in on that plane. There you go, Rage. DK90289. Fucking dump truck. live right now. Okay, I think we're ready to roll, eh? That's it. After these uh, three vehicles. Oh, now the dump truck's gonna fucking move. Fuck you. Now he's gonna try to fucking block us? Fuck you. Okay, now here's a quick clip of the one of the anti-facials ripping down signs and destroying things. Oh yeah, so we got this little punk in front of us going ripping down all the stuff to do with the uh, rally. And uh, he went and put a sign in the trash. We're near the trash. Yeah. Okay. It's ours now. Where is he going now? It's across the road. In the block. Got my cedar, chaga, and elderberry tea ready to go. I'm going to show two more videos, one involving the police officers, and then we're going to do an update with Pat um, at the end. So here you go. So I found this one on Rumble. Posted by April Lejeune on the 5th of February, which was yesterday. Let's watch. This is VidStorm live on YouTube. On the streets of Ottawa, bringing you the truth, bringing you live, bringing you cops with guns, apparently. Okay, well, I'll be fucking following these guys, I'll tell you that. Because that's not okay. You can see clear as fucking day that there is no violence going on here whatsoever. And there is no need for cops to be walking around with rifles. So I'm going to watch them now and see what the hell they're up to with rifles. They just walked by four kids' bouncy castles with rifles. Uh, 
Where are they going to here? Here we go, guys. This is apparently where the rifles are rubber bullet rifles. Hey, those rubber bullets are real ones. Rubber or real? We got 2,000 people watching. Rubber or real? Note the guy in the black. Won't even fucking say anything either. Just walk by you with a gun like, oh. This is where they're hanging out with fucking guns in here. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Sorry, guys. I want to keep the positive vibes, but I don't like seeing that shit. Yeah, right outside the jumping castles. Right outside the jumping castles. Look, we got kids playing in jumping castles right here. Cops going into this building with a bunch of fucking rifles. What the fuck is that? I don't know, guys. Okay, this one just rolled across my desk, folks. It's important. The um, Ottawa City Police Chief was on a live stream with their panel from council, and they openly admitted shutting down the GoFundMe, and now they are after the resources of uh, fuel, etc. Check this out. It's a quick clip, and then we'll get to Pat's update. We have, through the efforts of Deputy Bell, Christiane Hinault, uh, the mayor and his staff, we've been able to shut down the GoFunding program. That's a temporary reprieve because the funds are already moving in different directions. We are now going after supply and, and fuel coming into the area through investigations and intelligence operations and interdictions, all of which are, were underway yesterday, fully underway today. Well, guess what? You're done. You've just been exposed. How do you think that you think, or how do you get away thinking that people in your rooms with you guys, Ottawa City Police, mayors, all that, they're not on your side. They are going to leak this information to us to help us with our cause. You understand, guys, that this is a war, a psychological and a spiritual war. And these people live in one of the most evil cities in all the world. Ottawa's logo itself says 666. Six. Look at it. Look up the logo for Ottawa and you will see it. We are standing here on evil territory mm -hmm. trying to bring it and fill it with love and energy and respect mm -hmm. and honor. And we are back to the flag that stands behind me and love everyone and tell the truth. That's what we are doing, ladies and gentlemen. That's who we are. That's what Canadians have always been built on. And that's what we'll always be. And nobody is going to tell us different. And nobody's going to change this narrative. So please spread this out. You think that this game is just a game of all a bunch of truckers hanging out on the street? No. Look what they're doing. Look, and the media will not touch that. The media is told not to say it. Ladies and gentlemen, Patrick King from my the control hotels. room. Oh, the hotels as well. They're telling the, the hotel owners and managers not to let people rent rooms. People they're kicking people out of their hotels. So we had three people last night were just kicked out of their hotels because they wouldn't wear a mask and telling them even though they paid for a service, you're going to deny them that service that they've already paid for. That's wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, keep up the good work. Keep up the fight. We're here for each and every one of us. Okay, so let's go and take a look at what they have happening in Chihuahua, Mexico. It's a one minute video to leave you with something ex extremely positive. Thank you all for watching. Take care.